How are we doing, you wonderful people? My name is Jay, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new U World Juice Bank. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell. That way you guys will receive all the channel notifications and you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. But now that's out of the way, let's get into the video. This year, you will have gone strength to strength with all of their releases, and they've made sure they've released something for every vapor. As a huge UL fan, it's been really exciting to see them release a lot of good quality products throughout the year, and they haven't disappointed with anything so far. Now on this channel, I've been reviewing a mixture of things, from pod systems, sub ohm kits, tanks, e-liquid reviews, advice videos, and a few news videos, but I haven't done a review on any rebuildables or accessories. Well, you are have sent us their juice bank, so let's take a look. In your box, you get the U-World juice bank, which has a magnetic top cap and an e-liquid chamber, which fits 15 mil of e-liquid at the base. The magnetic top cap has a very strong magnet to make sure it doesn't fall off or remove itself when it's in your pocket or in your bag. Underneath the top cap, there is a spring-loaded juice dispenser with a metal nozzle, which is the same width of a normal juice bowl. And to fill your juice bank, simply unscrew the top piece above the gold band and fill with your e-liquid. The U-World juice bank has a max capacity of 15 mil. And if you're on the move throughout the day and you want to keep some of your favorite juices on you without carrying the big bowls, then a juice bank is a perfect option for you. Now I'm assuming that this is more aimed at RDA users, but your everyday vapor can still use the juice bank. If you're an RDA user, to use the juice bank, simply place the top nozzle over your drip tip and push down on the juice bank. This will dispense e-liquid directly onto your coil without needing to take off the top cap. And if you're a normal sub ohm tank user, then simply place your nozzle into the filling port of your tank and push down. This will dispense e-liquid into your tank. Now for most vapors, we buy short fill bowls, and we all know that different brands of short fills have different nozzles for filling. Some short fills have them twisty removable nozzles, some short fills have them cap that you pull off from the top, some short fills have wide nozzles, some short fills have thin nozzles, and they're all good designs. They're designed for the user to be able to put the nick shots in very easily, but we all know that some of these short fills can be a real pain to fill your tank up with. I've had some short fill bottles that if you squeeze too hard while you're filling your tank, the cap will shoot off and you just get covered in e-liquid, which is never ideal. But with a U-World juice bank having a small metal nozzle which is pump activated, it can actually save you a lot of time filling up your tank, and that is a huge plus for me. Overall, you will have released a really good accessory. Something that's good in size, a good shape, and something that's really easy to use. If you have bigger bottles of your favorite juice and you don't want to be carrying around, say, 60 or 100 ml bottles, then a juice bank is a really good option for you. The magnetic top cap is really strong and sturdy. The design is really sleek, and it looks good. The overall build quality is what you would expect from you well, and best of all, it hasn't leaked on me yet. But what do you guys think? Would you guys use the UL juice bank, or would you much rather just carry around bigger bottles of your favorite juice? Leave a comment down below. I love talking to you guys and hearing what you guys have to say. And that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe with notifications turned on if you haven't already. And I'm also doing daily Instagram stories, so feel free to follow me on my day-to-day -day life. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.